What is up, Karatex? In this video, we're customizing the brand new Vapid Winky. Here it is. Very, very cool for sure. The new Jeep. Awesome. So it says the 1945 Winky is the ideal addition to anyone's collection of war memorabilia. It's just a picture of Manke. Very funny. Russia is very clever when it comes to their little descriptions for their cars. So price is 825,000. This is the trade price. So the normal price is 1.1 million. So in order to unlock the trade price, you have to do the first setup for the Gallopet Eagle heist from your submarine. Uh, and obviously in order to do that, you have to own the submarine. So keep that in mind. I already went ahead and bought it. Here it is. Very cool for sure. So you might be wondering why they put it as a manufacturer Vapid. You know, that's Ford when this is obviously a Jeep should be Canis. Well, I did a little research, not even I knew this, <laughs> but basically it was mainly used in World War II, 1940s. Now, there were a ton of these made. Half of them were built by Ford and the other half were built by Willys. Not exactly half, but pretty much. Um, Ford made over 300,000 of these and had a weird name to it. So it was called the Ford GPW. The G stood for government contract. The P stood for the 80 inch wheelbase and then the W stood for the Willys design. Now, in terms of the Willys Jeep, that one was called the Willys MB, which stood for uh, Military Model B. So, <laughs> pretty crazy there. So that's the main reason as to why Rockstar classed it as a Vapid uh, vehicle. Well, the manufacturer being a Vapid vehicle. Uh, this thing is in the off-roads class, I believe. Yep. So very cool for sure. Let's, let's see what kind of modifications we got here. All right, Vapid Winky Off-Road, kind of a weird name, but all right, armor 100% bodywork, so, whoa, that removes, like, it removes your spare tire, the gas tank, well, a spare gas tank, uh, okay, and the shovels, and this one you have your gas tank and stuff, and antennas, very cool, supply kit, oh my gosh, double gas tanks, <laughs> I like the spare tire a lot. Um, we'll do this kit, I guess. Brakes. Race brakes. Bull bars. Whoa, okay. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Very nice. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Hmm. Okay, I think uh, this one or this one. I think this one looks a little cool. It kind of looks like fog lights and they're placed very similarly to the other one. So we'll do that. That wasn't the bumper, so it has the bull bars and front bumper separately. Okay. You have a... <laughs> now that is cool. <laughs> you have a toy rub bumper with a little star there. What is... Oh, it's an axe. Oh my gosh. And there's rope. What is this? Oh, I don't know what that bar is for. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments, but that's very cool. Trail bumper. Wow. That's insane. Well, definitely one of these. Hmm. I think this one with the axe. That's very cool. We'll do that one. Rear bumper. Trail rear bumper. And shield. I like the trail one, that's nice. Yeah, the yellow one looks a little bit too modern with those vents there, so we'll do this one. Engine exhaust. Yeah, the stock exhaust. Street chrome. So it's pretty much just tips. <laughs> okay. I guess the chrome exhaust. Even though I guess it kind of takes away from what it is. Honestly, you know, I'm going to leave it suck. I think that kind of fits the character of this. Not to put, like, any crazy modern stuff on it. I still want to keep it, like, of the era, so. Like that. Blackout fenders. And for some reason, those are, like, look like spotlights or something. Okay. Ammo fenders. That is cool. Supply, fenders, man, the customization on this is great. I love it. That is very cool. Um, hmm. 
It's so tough that picking what Oh man. I think the ammo fenders are cool. We'll do that. Grill. So you have the winky grill. Billet. Rhino. Oh yeah, it looks a little bit more like the real one. The rhino grill. And then the trail grill. Hmm. Even though this one's a little bigger, but then you lose that little canister up front. Which I don't know what that's for. Hmm. I guess, I guess we'll do that one. Rhino grill. Headlight covers. So you have... Okay. Kind of like trim. Oh, that's cool. The visor ones. That's sick. The shield ones are pretty nice. The trail ones look weird. <laughs> that one's very cool. The visor ones. Let's do that. Hood. My gosh. Stinger hood. Okay. Dual vents. Stinger vent. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Got the vents there. With this color, there you go. It's a little hard to see, but <laughs> power bulge. Okay. Off-road kit. Oh my gosh. Any more stuff you want to put on this? <laughs> wheel mount. That's pretty cool. I like that. The wheel mount. But we already have one back. Oh, it removes it. Look at that. It removes it from the rear. That's so weird. I mean, I, I prefer it at the back. I think it kind of fits the character of this. Hmm. I like the stinger hood. It's got like a little bulge and then it has a little rubber grommets there on the end. I like that. Let's do that. Lights. It comes with LEDs already. They should have had the yellow lights, but you can go to the arena and put yellow lights on it if you want. Uh, okay, camo liveries. So these are 90s. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of camos here. Sankudo sprayed. No rush at, all. at first I thought they were just the gun running ones. Um, at least I don't think they are they. I think these are all just the gun running ones repeated on here. Yeah. This one looks new. Terrain contour. Well, some of them are from that update. Oh, Patriot. That's a, that's cool. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. I'm going with that one. 120 percent. Okay. Oh, start with camo. Oh man, that's awesome. I like the star by itself. That's sick. Plate. I don't think I have a plate for this. Uh, do I? Muddy? I don't know. That one works. Merka? Maybe. Alright. Alright. Muddy it is. Respray. Oh man. I, foliage matte green is the color on its stock. I think it's like a shame to change that. I think the olive, the olive one's a little looks a little better, but I don't know. Like that green just goes so well with it. This one looks a little better though. The olive grab, I like that one a lot more. Definitely a matte color. The last color is the, <laughs> definitely a lot more modern looking. I think a matte needs to needs to be on this. How does a desert tan look? Oh, there it is. Desert tan too light. All right, olive grab it is. No secondary color. That's interesting. Roof. Roof searchlight. That, that, that looks weird. <laughs> that looks very weird. That's definitely an afterthought. Okay. Suspension. You don't look, you don't, don't do it. Don't lower this thing. <laughs> Transmission, turbo, wheels. I think that's another sin, changing these wheels. That's just, just why. <laughs> Why? I would not change these. These look pretty cool. I mean, I guess if you want to go a little modern, you can pick one of these off-road ones, especially since they added the new ones recently. Which I some of these don't look too bad on here. Uh, but personally, I, I prefer the stock. It just looks so good. What other wheel in the game looks like that? I mean, it's just thin profile tire, that weird-looking wheel, center caps, just very unique. I like it a lot. It goes with it very nicely wheel color you have to have custom wheels obviously uh, tire design also custom wheels okay and that's all of it 
Uh, no window tents, because obviously we don't have any windows. We have a windshield, but that doesn't count. So, <laughs> very cool. All right, let's go ahead and take it for a drive. My first time driving it in the city for me. All right, floor it. Not very fast at all, obviously. Not made to go fast. First person. <laughs> this is so cool. Honestly, never thought we would get this in GTA. Very cool vehicle. That's full speed, by the way. That's floored. <laughs> Not very fast. See the lights. Oh, look at that. The flag lights that we put work. So that's awesome. Very slow. I believe it's 4x4, four four, but let's double check. Let's see. Hopefully it has enough power to do this. Yep. Yeah, the front ones are spinning. There you go. 4x4. Four four. Nice. Um, obviously, this is very poor off-roading here, but let's try it. Look at that. Not bad. Doesn't bottom out too much. Nice. That short wheelbase helps a lot. <laughs> very cool. Very quirky vehicle for sure. Uh, I think the customization is by far the best part of it. You know, this is something you just customize the way you like. You put it in a nice garage and that's it. I don't think you're going to be using it for anything else. Um, it's not that fast, even fully upgraded. Off-road, I mean, it's decent uh, from what I can tell from here, but I don't think it's anything crazy. But, oh, look at that jump. Very cool vehicle for sure. Let's see. It's open. Let's see how the doors open. Let's see. All right. Hood opens. Nice. Inline four. <laughs> Very cool. Good job, Rockstar. Very well done. I don't think they could have done any better than that. I think they did an amazing job. Very cool vehicle for sure. Would I recommend buying it at 1.1 million? Definitely not. Uh, 800,000, it's a little more considerable, but I, would, I wouldn't doubt them putting this on discount in the future. That's definitely going to happen for sure. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.